SpaceX has been in the talk since it announced the Mars mission, and now everyone is excited to know the whereabouts of SpaceX. It looks like the billionaire has already planned everything. First, Elon Musk discloses mind-blowing airplane upgrades, which will be coming in 2023, and with this upgrade, flying will never be the same again. And along with this, Elon Musk intends to deliver satellite internet service aboard airplanes next year. Now here things started to get interesting. Are you excited? Then make sure to watch the video till the end to make sure to get all the updates by SpaceX. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Here we begin. Starlink Aviation Upgrade The SpaceX CEO declared that his corporation will officially launch Starlink Aviation as soon as 2023. That was I was talking about. Have you ever come across Starlink? You must have because this word is quite a trend nowadays. Starlink Aviation is a high-speed in-flight internet provider that will deliver connectivity worldwide. This is not according to any fake sources. Instead, it is according to the main Starlink website. SpaceX tweeted recently and said that with Starlink Aviation, passengers can access high-speed and low-latency internet from the first moment they walk on their plane. The company contends that the service will deliver internet speeds of around 350 Mbps to aircraft furnished with its aero terminal. Speeds reaching 350 Mbps are fast enough for video calls, VPNs, online gaming, and other high data rate recreations. Speaking about its price, which you all must be waiting to hear, this new technology will vary from $12,500 to $25,000 a month. And that's pretty costly, but imagine the advantages of this upgrade. Won't that be exciting to use it? Furthermore, there is a one-time hardware which will cost around $150,000 for the Aero Terminal, which Starlink interprets as low profile. Now the fun question, how will it work? Everyone would like to know this, so let's get into it. Because Starlink satellites are moving in low Earth orbit, and there are constantly satellites overhead or nearby to deliver a strong indication at high latitudes and in polar regions, this is unlike geostationary satellites which circled the Earth from a stabilized point at 22,237 miles above our surface. These services will reportedly be accessible in flight over land and water and on the bottom during taxi, takeoff, or even landing. Starlink website noted that the connection is possible as long as the equipment is powered on and the Starlink has an unobstructed view of the sky. On one new test flight, Starlink Aviation was competent to deliver 100 Mbps internet speed on board a flight between Burbanks and San Jose. Earlier this year, Starlink furthermore tested its internet on Delta Airlines, and the results were quite outstanding. While Starlink and Delta were tight-lipped on the specifics encircling the exploratory testing, Musk was vocal about his conception of procuring the internet to space, remote nations, and airplanes. Last year, Musk substantiated in various tweets to fans that he was functioning on bringing Starlink internet to airlines and said that they were talking to airlines about installing Starlink and ask people to let him know if they want it in their airlines. A milestone never reached. Now another quite thrilling aspect is that after recently smashing his own record for annual launches, Elon Musk is now conducting a milestone never reached. In his recent tweet, the tech mogul ambitiously disclosed that his aerospace corporation would attempt 100 orbital launches next year, giving rise to the world's first corporation to accomplish so. This disclosure was compelled by Musk on Twitter after SpaceX inaugurated its Falcon 9 rocket on August 31st with 46 Starlink satellites in the corporation's 39th mission this year. Reacting to many reports of SpaceX's objective of over 100 flights in 2023, Musk said in a tweet that he's aiming for up to 100 flights next year. You must have seen that on July 22nd. SpaceX smashed the record for most launches in a year, which was 31 set in 2021, and is presently completing an orbit approximately after every five days. According to Musk, at this rate, the corporation might successfully achieve 60 launches this year, an objective that was declared by Musk in March. Furthermore, he confessed that as many as 4,200 new Starlink satellites would be lofted into space in the following 18 months. Last is SpaceX's private Polaris Dawn mission to Earth orbit. According to the Polaris program website, this mission has been propelled from late 2022 to not before March 2023, and now the organization is planning the flight. Polaris Dawn will fly over a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. That's the exact pad that hosted the September 2021 blastoff of Inspiration4 
the first all-private crew tasked to Earth orbit. The four-person Inspiration4 was financed and sanctioned by Jared Isaacman, a billionaire tech entrepreneur who will also direct Polaris Dawn. Like Inspiration4, Polaris Dawn will drive a SpaceX Dragon capsule into Earth orbit. But the coming expedition will shoot slightly higher. And to our wonder, Polaris Dawn will surely take advantage of Falcon 9 and Dragon's ultimate accomplishment, flying higher than any Dragon expedition to date and endeavoring to enter the highest Earth orbit ever flown. Polaris program representative said in a mission description that, orbiting via portions of the Van Allen radiation belt, the Polaris Dawn will have research to properly understand the effects of spaceflight and space radiation on human health. The expedition will also accentuate the first commercial spacewalk, which will be conducted at an altitude of about 435 miles, about 700 kilometers if all goes according to the proposal. For perspective, ISS, the International Space Station, has an average of 250 miles to orbit, which is 400 kilometers above Earth. Isaacman and his three crewmates aim to put up money for St. Jude Children's Hospital in Memphis, which was a key objective of Inspiration4. The Polaris program, which Isaacman funds, conducts to advance human spaceflight abilities, potentially assisting our species to get back to the moon and take the jump to Mars. This program furthermore emphasizes raising money for ethical causes in institutions such as St. Jude's. This new program will accomplish three purposes if all goes according to plan. The second mission will utilize a dragon. Though we know little about it, it's in the initial planning stages. Isaac Mann floated one interesting chance late last month, noting that Polaris Flight 2 could improve the orbit of and possibly assist NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. That exploration goal is contingent on the outcomes of a joint NASA SpaceX study that's examining the feasibility of a Dragon purpose to Hubble. Now, if we talk about the third Polaris flight, which will be the first crewed goal of SpaceX's giant Starship vehicle, the corporation is also developing to take people as well as cargo to the Moon, Mars, and even beyond. Starship will furthermore assist as the first crewed lander for the Artemis Moon program by NASA. As far as 2022 is concerned, you will find that SpaceX has some mammoth strategies which comprised the first orbital goal of its enormous rocket Starship and astronaut Expedition Crew-5 for NASA. Presently under improvement, the Starship is undergoing various experiments at the Starbase facility in Texas ahead of its excursion around the Earth. However, Musk said that apart from disclosing Tesla's fully self-driving or FSD element, settling Starship to orbit is his greatest goal this year. SpaceX in Satellite Internet Business The top-rated internet service broadband Starlink introduced internet services in aircraft, and it's a complete game-changer. Not to forget, SpaceX also has some important work to do within the satellite internet business, as it was previously accepted by cruise company Royal Caribbean on its fleet. As a result, Royal Caribbean declared that it would start introducing Starlink internet on all the Royal Caribbean International, along with the celebrity cruises and Silver Sea Cruises ships. This endeavor will be complete by next year. So that's it for today. What do you think about these new upgrades? Will 2023 be the year for SpaceX? Share your thoughts with me in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos.